So, first things first, I'm sick. So if I sound a bit off, that's why. Um, and, or look a bit off. <laughs> um, and secondly, I leave for Iceland in three days. So I'm packing, um, and I'm just focusing on getting myself better, but I needed to pack, I wanted to film this video, um, and I don't want to be sick, so I'm going to ignore it. So let's get into it. I was going to talk you through what I'm packing. So I'm going to Iceland for a week and then I'm heading to um, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Amsterdam, and then the UK. So this holiday is very um, outdoorsy and rugged, but then also the other half is very metropolitan, cosmopolitan cityscape. So I have two very distinct styles that I'm packing today, um, which hopefully you'll see. But first, before we even get into the clothing of what I'm packing, um, I wanted to talk about the backpack because backpack is the most important purchase you can make if you're about to go uh, on a trip. So I'll talk through my one and why I picked it. Okay, so my backpack is a 55 litre Duta backpack. Um, these guys specialise in backpacks, so that's why I picked them. When you have it in front of you, it opens through the top like a regular backpack, but it also has a front open. So it opens right up like a suitcase as well, and it has a pocket down here, which I keep my shoes in, keep them separate, and there's a zipper under here so you can access it there. So you can access the main compartment at all times. It also has a pocket under here, which keeps the rain cover that comes with it inside of it. So on top it has a um, documents thing here. It has a hidden pocket under the hood. It has a pocket on the top for any easy access things. Um, it has hip support. It has metal framing all through the back to make sure it stay, uh, doesn't give you back injuries. Everything is adjustable. So you have your backpack when it's all done up and then it also comes with a detachable day pack that kind of sits on top like that, which is good if you're walking around the city um, between flights. And then I always put my camera gear in here so I can take that on the plane with me and check this. Now, the downside to backpacks is that if you go through um, a flight in the carousels, these can get caught um, or that it's not waterproof. So Duta, all Duta bags come with this big blue shell. Um, and I put it round, zip it in, and um, tie it up, and then that's when you check it like that. So uh, all of the straps get locked away. Um, it also gives you extra room. So if you're over capacity of your bag, so you can't fit anything else in, but you're under your weight, you can just shove it into the blue bag and check it, and then deal with it when you get to your destination. So that's also another plus. So while we're talking about bags, this one is my carry-on. Um, I got it from Bali. It's empty and it weighs nothing. It's made from foam. It folds right down so you can actually store it inside your main duffel bag um, if you're not using it or you can expand it and use it as a carry-on and it fits cabin baggage. Um, because I'm going to Iceland, I'll be camping so I needed to bring a towel so I just bought this cheap one from Kmart which is a cheap store here. When I'm done with it after the Iceland leg I'm just going to find like um, a homeless shelter or something to donate it to so I don't have to carry it for the rest of my journey but um, I'll definitely need it for the uh, camping leg. This is just my makeup. This is my hair straightener. It's just a GHD. It has a dual power pack, so it works in both um, zones, which is great. Um, and we're also taking a scarf. I always take a scarf with me. I always call it my slut scarf because um, if I'm ever going to a church and my shoulders are out or something, I can tuck this around my shoulders. So we're taking those. This is a packing cube. This is what everything will be going in. This is just my underwear. Then we've got a hairbrush, goes with the makeup. Now we're into the shoes section. So I will take a pair of wedges. These ones are just white. Um, wedges are good because they're a bit more versatile so you can use them in the daytime or the nighttime if you're going out. So I'll be taking those. Um, these are my everyday walking shoes. They're a pair of sketches, but they've got a thicker sole. Um, so they're generally what I wear every day. I always take a pair of flip flops or thongs because um, I'll be eating camping in showers, so I don't trust the cleanliness there, so I'm taking those to look at any diseases. Um, I have a pair of running shoes just in case I want to exercise, which is more than likely. 
And then I have my hiking boots. Um, and these will be pretty much what I wear every day in Iceland. But then after Iceland, I won't be wearing them anymore. Um, I also take an umbrella. This one's a clear one. Um, I got this one in Argentina, but it's really good because if it's raining and you want to take a photo in front of something, it doesn't block the view because it's clear. It's not distracting. We have the jackets. Now, I packed a lot of jackets because it's Iceland's cold and it's going to be autumn, so I don't want to have one jacket and then have every photo look the same. So I packed this white jacket. It's just a regular warm jacket, it's not a shell, it's like got some fleece in it. Um, I've also got a Kathmandu shell, which is a windbreaker. And then these are both for the Iceland leg and the Norway leg. And then for the cityscape, I have packed a trench coat. This will be good for when I'm um, going around London, going to all the sites there. So this is a trench coat, so it's a little bit less outdoorsy. Um, I also have this little dry towel, which is always just a good backup if we don't want to take out the big blue one. But it's just um, a quick dry towel that I got from Kathmandu. Now this is my bag, I, this is my handbag. Um, it has little pockets on the side, so it's good for carrying bits and pieces. But it's also my camera bag, which is empty now because I'm filming. But it has padding and it's got room for my camera. So I pretty much take this everywhere, every day, regardless of where I am. And then I've got this bag um, as my toiletries, which is a Kathmandu one that you can hang. It's just got the toothbrushes and bits and pieces in there. I will also be taking a uh, hairdryer. This is like a luxury item, but my hair is too thick and big to not have this. And I've been scorned by too many bad hotel hair dryers. And then I'll be taking one jumper, which is just a big thick fleece for Iceland. And then I'm taking one thermal just in case it gets quite cold. Okay, so this here is two swimsuits, just like little bikinis. And I'm taking two because I don't know, this is velvet, I don't know how that's going to go in, in um, the Blue Lagoon. So i um, just going to take two as a backup. They don't weigh a lot, so it's fine. Um, then we have first aid kit that has some cold and flu tablets for me, obviously, at the moment, and um, painkillers. And because Iceland's quite expensive, I'm actually taking some food. So I'm taking some oats. Um, some two minute noodles, some dates for snacking, um, and I'm actually taking some protein powder so that I can make sure I get enough protein when we're living out the van in Iceland. So what I've actually done is I've actually saved up some Tic Tac containers and put some spices in there for so we can travel with them. So when we're cooking in the caravan, we'll have some cumin and cinnamon. And... I'll obviously be traveling with a water bottle. And then these are the bulk of my clothes, so um, I have just, this is just a t-shirt and then I've got long sleeve shirt, this one's like quite lightweight, good woolly one for, I use that at Machu Picchu. Um, got my Kathmandu t-shirt, brand new as you see, still got the tags on. Then we've got just a nice blouse, so this is when we're moving into more of the European stuff. This is a nice button-up blouse I've got, and then another black t-shirt from Kathmandu, another blouse, and then another blouse. So they're my tops. They all go there. Then we also have a pair of tights. Um, I've got a leather skirt, another skirt, and then white pants, hiking pants, jeans, and then exercise pants down here. So this is for if I'm working out, or if we're um, doing any exercise. Then I also have a bunch of dresses because dresses are my go-to when I'm traveling. So there's just this nice, this is for Europe. This is for Europe, Europe. I probably should cut some of these. These might not all make it in. Um, got a nice jumpsuit in case we want to go out later. Another dress. All of these are basically for when we're in Europe. So I'll probably cut the rest of these dresses. <laughs> I got a bit too excited when I was packing. Okay, so now I've talked you through everything I'm taking. I'm going to pack it all in real time and I'll split it up for you. Um, and you can see how all of this fits into this backpack. Okay.
there we have it. It's all packed away. Everything's here. This is my personal item when I'm traveling. And this is my carry-on. This goes inside there when I'm ready with but my camera is busy. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my Icelandic adventures and you can follow along and see if I get any sicker and or better. Who's to say? I feel like crap. Uh...